trucks drivers and train operators in the South Bay could be just days away from going on strike after their union overwhelmingly rejected a new contract. So what is the backup plan if they hit the picket line? Well, KPIX5's Devin Feely has been looking into that for us. Devin? Yeah, there's more than a thousand members of this union that represents the bus drivers and the light rail operators. That's a lot of people that you would potentially have to replace. You'd have to find people that have the training, the expertise, and a willingness to cross a picket line. So where do you find them? It's a serious and largely unanswered question tonight. A strike could cripple the South Bay's public transportation system, potentially stranding the more than 100,000 commuters who depend on its buses and trains. That's going to be bad for a whole lot of people. You got the elderly, right? You got the young. The VTA says they're planning to hire bus drivers willing to cross the picket line in order to keep their most popular bus routes running. Light rail trains, however, are a very different story. In a blog post, a spokesperson for the transit agency says light rail service will shut down on day one of a strike because the, quote, high-level training and safety requirements make operators impossible to replace. VTA will instead prioritize bus service. I'm going to be up the creek without a paddle. My God, you got to be kidding me. It's bad enough to lose your car, now you find out you might lose the bus too. According to VTA, on average, nearly 90,000 people ride its buses each day and more than 25,000 hop on one of its trains, many of whom don't have a car or any other means of getting where they're going. This is the only commute system for me, so I don't use car. And uh, if they went on strike, if they, if they were going for a strike, then definitely we impact a lot of commuters like me. Taking public transportation sometimes, it, it really helps. Even it takes so long, uh, it really helps because uh, at least you spend less. The union overwhelmingly rejected what VTA described as its, quote, last and best offer. And what remains to be seen is if the two sides can somehow put the brakes on a potentially devastating strike. The union is required to give VTA 72 hours warning before a strike. They say that VTA put their best offer on the table. The union has rejected it. And now the union says the ball is in VTA's court. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.